Welcome to Sideline View this week. It's uh, June 19th edition at the Hockey House, and our special guest this week is Drew Olson, um, Brainerd High School graduate. Um, what I always remember, one thing about you from high school hockey, Drew, is that you had the hardest slap shot I've ever seen for, for a Brainerd Warrior, so I don't know what that means or if that'll make you any money, but uh, that's always my opinion. But uh, let's start off talking a little bit about after you left high school. I know you played in the USHL for a year, and I think it was Omaha. Um, yeah. How did that, you know, I guess first of all, maybe talk about, you know, you played um, all four years in high school here. You didn't leave early. You played juniors the next year. Um, how you know? What was your experience like? It's so varied for everybody. It seems like. Yeah, um, you know, I think the biggest thing for me is, uh, <clears throat> you know, I enjoyed you know staying here all throughout uh, high school. I think for me, I'm kind of a late bloomer in a way, and so I didn't want to you know leave you know leave too early. And then uh, you know, kind of when I got to new juniors, it was kind of eye opening experience in mm -hmm. um, that fact and just realize how fast and you know big and how the game is going to be and so I'm glad that uh, you know I took a year off um, from Duluth and uh, you know spent that uh, extra year in Omaha and had a had a great time made some great friends and before uh, you know I headed off to Duluth. And obviously, I mean, I, I was looking here, I think you've played like 147 career games once you went to Duluth, and of course, probably got to be the highlight was uh, 2011, I believe, winning an NCAA championship. I mean, what was your experience like at Duluth, and in, it, in, in addition, uh, what was that year like to win it all? Uh, it was absolutely amazing. Um, you know, I'm glad that, uh, you know, I got the opportunity to go to Duluth and, uh, you know, had the opportunity to play, and, and uh, you know, it's something when you grow up a little bit, uh, you know, thinking about winning a national championship and all like that and you you don't think it's ever going to happen to you but uh you know we had that amazing year and uh you know we had the ability uh with our team you know to win the national championship and you know it's 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 something that uh you can't really explain I and mean, you know mm -hmm. words can't really explain of you know how you feel and what it was like and um you know be able to hold up that trophy so um it was absolutely amazing you know yeah i'm i'm sure um then you know obviously after the season ended um, here last year your senior year um then you went to uh, um the let's see you went to um Refresh my memory here. Yep. Peoria, yeah, Peoria for the yeah. Peoria Rivermen. He went there for like five games, I think you said it was. Yep. And Carl Sneep from Brainerd was also there. Uh, maybe uh, you know, just tell us about how your experience went there and uh, playing with Carl a little bit again. Yeah, it was. Uh, well, after our season kind of ended, we uh, I took a took a few weeks off um, cause I didn't think uh, anything was going to happen right now with uh, with kind of with Columbus and all that so mm -hmm. I was you know I was talking with uh, my agent and he's like yeah you know relax a little bit enjoy your senior year and and so uh, you know I finally got a call and he's like yeah you're leaving tomorrow morning and you're playing tomorrow night and I'm like <laughs> oh all right <laughs> but uh, uh, once I got there it was uh, it was great the guys were the guys were wonderful and uh, um, we actually right when I got there we had a, a road trip to uh, Grand Rapids Michigan to play the Griffins and uh, yeah, I saw Carl on the bus and we caught up a little bit and uh, but uh, you know it was great um, you know kind of brings you back to the old days when me mm -hmm. and uh, me and him were D partners in, in high school but uh, <clears throat> for me I I played uh, one game at D and then uh, played four games at forward and um, I haven't played forward in you know in, in years I played one one game in in college but other than that it's been you know squirts of peewee since mm -hmm. I played a game but uh, you know it was a great experience I got my feet wet a little bit and um, you know kind of opened my eyes a little bit to kind of how the pro games played and you know what it takes to you know to play in the pro game so um, it was a great experience for me so what does next year look like for you as far as you, are you going back there or where, where are you headed for uh, your next step in your career here uh, you know what I'm not I'm not sure right now I'm still waiting on uh, Columbus right now to kind of figure out uh, you know what's going to happen with them um, but uh, if not, it's kind of a waiting game right now. If you know it doesn't really work out, then uh, you know hopefully uh, my agent is doing his job, job well enough so he can you know find me a place to play. But you know right now I'm just working out and you know relaxing and enjoying the enjoying the Brainerd summer. Finally get some good weather out here. So. Mm -hmm. Minnesota hockey camps obviously a big part for you in the summer. I mean you're working out there all the time with a lot of other people. Maybe uh, you know talk about your workouts a little bit and maybe some of the other guys who uh, you've seen out there. I guess. Yeah. Um, Minnesota hockey camps is huge. Uh, you know, Joe Cirardelli, he, uh, he's been training me every summer um, for the past, I think it was like 13 years now. So I owe, uh, you know, a lot to him and, and, and Minnesota hockey camps for, you know, letting me go up there and train. But uh, uh, right now we um, have a few guys up there that I usually train with. Uh, obviously, you know, Carl, uh, train with him, and then uh, T.G. Oshi and uh, Brad Malone and kind of like those guys, we all kind of get together and, mm -hmm. and, uh, and work out in the morning and then uh, – 
try to get a little skate in the afternoon. Columbus drafted you, I think, right out of high school, I believe it yeah. was, and um, you kind of talked a little bit about that. But there is there a long range plan there for you, or don't you really really know what the deal is with them at this point? That's what I'm hoping for right now. Um, <clears throat> they're still uh, they're still kind of up in the air. They got a new GM, a new assistant GM, stuff like that. So I think they're kind of waiting and seeing on uh, you know what they're going to do with all their players and all their uh, free agents, stuff like that. So um, hopefully, kind of after this draft, when they kind of figure everything out. Um, you know, I'll be able to, you know, kind of talk with them or sit down and talk with them and, and you know, see if we can't uh, make something happen. Um, if Stanley Cup playoffs are underway right now, I think is what we had game four, I think, coming up here tonight. Um, you got your playoff beard growth uh, yeah. <laughs> growing. So uh, just what maybe what are your pl impressions of the, of the final so far and uh, maybe a prediction of who you think is going to win this whole thing? Uh, prediction, uh, that's a tough one. But I think I'm going to have to go with Boston. I think uh, you know they're. I think they're a bigger, stronger team right now, and you know with uh, the, the defense that they have, or they're shutting down their top forwards. So, um, you know, I think it's uh, <clears throat> it's been a great playoff so far. Um, it's been very interesting. You know, it's been. I think they were saying it's from like the second most uh, overtime games in mm -hmm. in the playoffs so far, and it's been. You know, it's been it's been great. It's been great for hockey. You know, kind of mm -hmm. you know, uh, having that ability to uh, you know have all these teams player and, and stuff like that so it's, it's, been, it's been fun from what i've seen too it's so unbelievably close defensively i mean it's just like uh, you know it's almost impossible to score a goal in this in these finals so you know it just gets everybody just ratchets up the defensive pressure at this point don't they yeah exactly you know you think you know today's game is more offensive but uh yeah, as you can see in the playoffs right now it's been uh you know been the goaltending and defenses you know has really tightened down and, and it's making it harder to score so the games are a lot closer and it makes it more interesting more overtimes too so. yeah <laughs> Long nights. Well, we want to thank Drew for coming by and a nice summer day here. We want to wish him the best uh, coming up here. Um, hopefully uh, someday soon we'll see, uh, like we talked earlier, uh, some Brainerd guys in the NHL on a regular basis. That would be extremely cool. So hopefully that happens. And um, we'll um, hopefully next week we'll talk to you again from the Hockey House. And thanks for joining us. Again, thanks, Drew, for coming by. Yes, thank you very much for having me.